close your eyes, watch the breath, and keep watch over your own mind, watching the breath. We need this internal teacher to keep track of us and to warn us when we're going off track and to encourage us to stay. This internal teacher needs to know how to talk. Sometimes it has to be gentle, sometimes it has to be a little bit harsher. But make sure your internal voice isn't always harsh or always gentle. Take a look at the mood of the mind, at the level of the energy it has, and train yourself accordingly. And this way you're learning to be both a student of the Dharma and a teacher of the Dharma at the same time your own teacher. This is how all the great Ajahns became teachers, is they had to learn how to teach themselves. John Munn would give them some instructions and then send them off to places where they really had to depend on themselves. And they couldn't let their moods take over. And if they happened to run into people who were disrespectful, they didn't let that get them down. We see everybody bowing down to the forest tradition today. It wasn't that way in the beginning. People looked down on the forest monks. So it wasn't like they were getting a lot of encouragement. So they had to learn how to encourage themselves, keep themselves going. So it's this ability to reflect on yourself. It makes all the difference in the practice. After all, that's what the Four Noble Truths are all about, learning to turn around and look at yourself. You see that they're suffering. You can see that there are lots of things people are doing out there that are really upsetting. But you can't blame your suffering on them. If you do, you don't really solve the problem. You have to learn to reflect on yourself. What am I doing that's making my mind suffer right now over this issue? Kind of learn how to talk to myself in a new way. This is why we hang around the Ajans. The way they talk is the way they've learned how to talk to themselves. And they give you new ideas of how you can talk to yourself. So on the one hand you don't get discouraged, on the other hand you don't take your, tr your practice off in one direction. Develop only one part of the practice and neglect the other parts. You have to learn how to be all around, and just right for whatever's coming up. It's a skill. It takes time, but it's something we all have to develop. So if you find yourself talking to yourself in a way that's not helpful, say, there's nobody here right now that's destroying me. I'm destroying myself. Why? Use your imagination, at least, to think of better ways to look at the situation, look at yourself, to have the strength of mind and the confidence that you can pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and carry on. <laughs>